something really crazy happened the other morning so when i was outside feeding my birds right here my cat kid came to me very injured and scared he is limping on the fence and he is not looking good i mean you can see right here it is very swollen in this area What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, something really crazy happened the other morning. So when I was outside feeding my birds right here, my cat kid came to me very injured and scared. Now, I don't know exactly what happened to Kid, but his leg was injured and he was limping very, very bad. So guys, before I spoil anything else, I'm just gonna let you hop into today's video to find out what happened. All right, guys, so we are on the way to the vet, and Kid is not having it. He is throwing a big kitty tantrum. Isn't that right, Kid? You're okay. We're going to help you. The vet's going to help you. It's okay. You don't got to push out of there. Just stay calm, buddy. So you can see that Kid is not feeling well, and he is not doing well. You can see it is very, very uncomfortable to have his paw like that. So, guys, I'll catch you all once me and Kid make it to the vet. All right, guys, so we just dropped Kid at the vet. Now, we went inside, and they did do a checkup. They took him to the back, so there was not much filming that I could do, but they are admitting Kid to the vet hospital. Now, what they're going to be doing to Kid is they're going to be sedating him because he has a very high fever. They're going to be giving him antibiotics for that fever, and they are going to be putting a tube in the abscess in his leg because there is a bad bad infection in there now what this tube is going to do is going to let that abscess breathe and have all of the pus inside just ooze out so the infection can heal up nicely and it doesn't get compacted again now guys i feel so bad for kid he has not been feeling good so guys i have to be back here later in the day to pick up kid so guys just send a little prayer for kid that he does good during surgery and i'll see you all when it's time to pick up kid so we got the cameras pulled up right here. This is last night and we are just going through it. We're in fast forward to eight and we are skipping 15 seconds. And already so far, I am not seeing anything. So the time right here is about 2.18 a.m. And guys, look at that. I don't see anything. So this is the front porch. This is the side of our property. This is the front yard. This is the backyard, backyard kitchen side of our property and this right here is just a little further up now you can already see that we are not seeing anything so we're just going to keep on fast forwarding and see if we catch the predator attacking kid now guys if you take a look right here you can see something popped up on the camera now that looks like my backyard cat nala now guys if you don't remember who nala is i rescued her about two years ago when she was a newborn kitten left in a box now it's pretty unusual that she was sitting there so alert because she's usually sleeping all night long so maybe she heard kid and the predator going at it and the predator attacking kid now we don't know anything for sure but the only thing left to do is to further investigate the situation so guys there nala is again and she keeps cleaning herself and then looking that way because she seems to be alert about something i don't know if you can see it it's in fast forward right now but she keeps looking towards this direction that means whatever happened to kid could have happened on this side of the fence which we wouldn't be able to see but that could lead to all of our answers guys do you see that right there there is a cat that just appears from the bushes now it looks like a cat but that could be the predator you can see whatever it is it stops in its tracks and it's looking around now if this is a predator it could be looking for kid but if this is kid it could be looking out to see if the predator is gone now you can see whatever it is it walks back under the car that's right there and it vanishes now guys you can see whatever it is now that looks like a cat but now it's walking towards this way under these cars right here and it just vanishes now i don't know if whatever it was stays under the car for shelter if it was kid but you can see there was definitely something happening last night all right, guys, so we fast forwarded to 1 p.m. and you can see Kid, he is limping on the fence and he is not looking good. So you can see he walks that way. But this is the area that I noticed when I came to feed my birds in the morning and I noticed him limping on this side. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to fast forward and see if we can find him walking on the fence. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. There he is again. You see him? He is right there. 
Let's actually back up 15 seconds because I'm pretty sure he's going to be. Yeah, look, guys, he is walking back this way. I think he hears me over here. He stays right there and he's going to make his way all the way over there. Now you see I appear out of nowhere. I'm finishing my feedings for the morning. Now you can see that if you look right here, it actually jumps and it has a gap right here. Now I'm assuming that in this gap, Kid made his way right here and that's where I found him. So I found Kid right there limping and unfortunately it doesn't pick up on the camera but you can see i'm scoping the area out because i have no idea what happened to kid now guys unfortunately since we did not catch the predator on the camera attacking kid the only thing left to do is to set some traps and bait them so we can finally catch this predator all right guys so we've made it outside and i think i have found the perfect spot to put this trap to catch our predator so right here is where i feed my cats so this is the food bowl right here you can see it's completely empty and this is the water bowl so my guess is that kid maybe was coming to get a midnight snack and the predator came from either here 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 or basically anywhere and was trying to attack kid now that is only a theory we don't know anything for sure but i'm thinking this is a perfect spot to put the trap because if this predator tries to come and eat the cat food that is left from what the cats haven't eaten well i think that this predator will find this wet dog food a lot more appetizing now guys before we set our trap we're gonna set our bait up so we're gonna open up this yummy appetizing dog food right here and you can see this is very very appetizing to any predator that is very hungry. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pour the bait right here. And now that we have the bait on the plate, we're gonna go ahead and set our trap. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull our front piece up like this. And the way you set the trap is we're gonna go ahead and pull this lever back right here. And there we have it, our trap is set. But the only thing left to do is go ahead and put the bait in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the trap right here. We're gonna take our bait and we're just gonna put it on the back like so and put our trap back down. And there we have it, our trap is set and is complete. Now if you look right here, all a predator has to do is walk right in our trap, step on this platform right here while he's trying to munch on this food, and then we have caught the predator. Now guys, since we've set our trap, we're gonna head inside since Kid is not ready to get picked up from the vet and we are gonna prepare his room to come home. All right, so this is where we're gonna be keeping Kid right here. So we've already got his food and his water set up for him once he gets home from surgery and from the vet office. We got a little blanket for him to lay on and of course we got his litter. Now the only thing left to do is to go pick up Kid. All right guys, so we have Kid and he is safe and sound and back home. You can see he is rushing to get out of this carrier that we have him in, but you can see that the vet office put a cone on him so he doesn't mess with the incision area. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it on up and see how Kid is doing. Hi buddy. Oh my goodness, what the heck did mommy just put you through? Are you okay? Hi, baby. Oh my goodness. So sweet. Even though all of this is happening to you, you want to come out? Here, wait, wait. Mommy's going to help you. Okay, so we're just going to bring him on out right now. All right, guys. Oh my goodness. Poor, poor baby. So we're just going to move this carrier out of the way. And we're gonna take a look at his incision right here. So it's on the left front leg. And oh my goodness, they shaved your leg. You just you just want love? Okay, we'll give you love for a minute. So we got kids to lay down nice and comfortably so we can take a better look at the incision area. So if you guys take a look right here, hi hi buddy, you wanna steal the steal the attention from the camera? So if you take a look right here, you can see we have three incisions. Now the middle incision right here is actually where Kid was bit, causing this pus to ooze up. So whatever bacteria that this animal, that bit Kid had, got into his leg right here and completely made it swollen. I mean, you can see right here, it is very swollen in this area right here. Now we're not gonna mess with it too much because it definitely hurts little Kid right here. And if you look, the two other incisions right here and here is what the vet made to allow this area to breathe and for the pus to not be able to build up and cause more of an infection. Now there's actually a tube running under his skin, so it looks a little pus 
puffy in this area, not only because it's swollen, but because there's also a tube in there to allow the incision to breathe. But buddy, how are you feeling? Are you okay? So the vet also gave me a care package to take home with instructions, pain meds, liquid to clean the incision area along with gauze. So this ooze does not build up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the package so you guys can see it for yourself. So we're just gonna go on ahead and open it up right here. So here we have our pain meds right here that he already got today. He's also gonna be getting tomorrow and the next morning after that. Isn't that right, buddy? You're feeling a lot better and your fever is all gone. Thank goodness. All right, and then here we have our instructions on how to properly take care of his wound. We have our liquid right here to clean the incision area. And of course, we have our gauze. Now guys, as you can tell, Kid has had a very rough day and he is a very tired boy. So that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below a little prayer that Kid's incision gets better and doesn't become a bigger infection. Now guys, if you wanna catch this predator that did this to Kid and hurt my little baby, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.